What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up static IP address on your Windows computer. So for example, if you need to set up static for some kind of reason, maybe for VPN, or maybe if you have any shares on your computer that you're trying to share into a network and you have to have static IP address. So here's first thing we need to do. So if you already have IP address that can be used as static, and it's not in the DHCP pool, so it's not going to be leased to somebody else because if it's, if it's going to happen, then there is going to be IP conflict. So what we can do, we can click on start and we can type CMD. And here we can type IP config forward slash space forward slash all and then press enter. And right here you can see the IP address that you have right now. That's the one was leased from DHCP server. So what you can do, you can reserve this IP address so it's not going to be leased to anybody else besides you. So in here, what we're going to do, we're going to take IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. So to set up static IP address, we need to click on start. We need to click on settings and then in settings, we need to click on network and internet. And in here, we need to click on ethernet or if you are setting up on your Wi-Fi, maybe you click on Wi-Fi and then in here, click on change adapter options. And at this screen, you can change it to either your Ethernet or Wi-Fi option. And at the same time, if you go to control panel, you can click on network connections and you can get to here as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to change on our Ethernet option. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on properties. And right here, we need to select Internet Protocol version 4 and then click on properties. And right here, you can see the radio button is set to obtain IP address automatically. We're going to set to use following IP address. And we're going to use the same IP address that we just pulled up from our command prompt. And this is going to be this one right here, 192.168.1.121. So I'm going to type this IP address. And then subnet mask 255, 255, 255. And then default gateway. If you go back here, you can see it's 192.168.1.1. And for DNS server, what you can do, you can use the one that it's set over here, 192.168.1.1. This is basically your router IP address or a DNS IP address that you have. And for alternative, you can leave it blank or I'm going to set up Google DNS. It's just 8.8.8.8. And that's it. Once you press OK and once you close, that's it. You have static IP address set up on your computer. And if you go back here and if you type IP config and then press enter right here, you can see that same IP address that we just set up. And for example, if you're going to set up to something else, that other IP address is going to show up over here. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.